Man, 2020 has been nothing short of a dumpster fire so far. No better time than now than just go ahead and launch a YouTube channel in my opinion. Let's get this thing going. Everybody and welcome to episode one of All Things Bearded. Now, I know on our social media on Instagram, a lot of people have been trying to figure out what in the world is this channel gonna be about? What are they gonna bring? Well, for season one, we're just gonna go ahead and bring 12 companies within the beard game that I feel are excellent companies. But for episode one, went ahead to find folks at Beard Octane. Let's just go ahead and get kicked off with what everybody likes the most, in my opinion. And they might not, but it's my show. I'm gonna say you like this the most, Beardle. So for the first Beardle that I'm gonna talk about, this is actually a collaboration that Joe did with a guy named Joshua Coburn. So for this collaboration, the price on this Beardle is $19.99, which is about standard for a collaboration since two people are involved. The ingredients for this Beardle is actually fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, hazelnut oil, jojoba oil, aloe extract, vitamin E, hints of vanilla, rum, and hand-rolled cigars. Now for all these beard oils that we are gonna talk about, the carrier oil and the blend is the same throughout. So I'm not gonna go over that every time and just bore you to death with going over it. We'll just go over the scent profiles. But for this one, right off the nose, I get hit with the fresh rolled cigars, the sweetness of that mixed with the vanilla. I don't really get a lot of rum, maybe on the back end a little bit. It's very pleasing scent, it's not too harsh, not too bold. And on this one, I did get it to last around six to seven hours when I did wear it. So that was a good length of time considering it's a very light oil. Now I will say this about Beard Octane also. If you read the directions of use, Joe did a very good job on being clever about it. Now with Beard Oil, what you want is what's in the bottle. It doesn't really matter about the artwork. It doesn't really matter about the Beard Oil container or the dropper top or the restrictor cap. What matters is the oil. But with Beard Octane, you literally do get the best of both worlds. You get a badass looking label. You get clever instructions like this one. Dry your facial fur completely. Drop some greatness in the palm of your hands. Rub said greatness between your palms. Massage throughout your majestic beard. Flex your chest. You've earned it. Like, hell yeah, I'll flex my chest while I put this on. Why not? Oh, man. Next. Now Defiance is gonna run you $16.99 because this is not a collaboration, this is just a staple scent that Joe has. You do get hints of applewood, patchouli, cedar, vanilla, and attitude. So off the nose, definitely get the warm applewood with the cedar wrapped in. On the back end, I do get the vanilla with the patchouli. It's a very warm and bold scent. Now, when I did wear this one, it did last around seven to eight hours, so I got a little bit more use out of the scents and sticking within the beard. It's a little bit stronger, which I do like. Definitely think this is one that you could wear out on the town, maybe wear it to work, nice deep scent. Definitely look into this one if that's something that you'd be interested in. So we have Liquid Gold. This is a flagship of Beard Octane. I do know when I started looking into Beard Octane a long time ago, this was probably the one that everybody was talking about the most. This one also will run you $16.99. So the ingredients on Liquid Gold are hints of leather, frankincense, Sweet oud wood and expensive taste. Expensive taste, hence what's in gold. Um, anyway, such an idiot. Go ahead and go off the nose on this one. So off the nose, I get sweet oud wood with the leather. They definitely blend in together. It's got a nice, rich, sweet scent to it. It's extraordinarily well put together. I do get the leather a little bit more on the back too. And then the frankincense kind of comes in. It's definitely a bold scent. It's very clean, very cologne-like. Now we have apple pie. So for me, this is my fall scent. Anytime fall comes around 
and it gets nice, cool and crisp outside. This is the one I reach for. Granted, right now in Georgia, it is hot as hell and I ain't wearing this one out. But as soon as it does get cold, this is definitely the one I'm reaching for. On the ingredients, we have hints of apple, vanilla, cinnamon, sugar, and pure deliciousness. We're gonna go ahead and take a little sniff a sniff. Oh, man. Now this one, this is like sweet Macintosh apples with cinnamon. This is warm apple cider. I love this scent. Like I said, as soon as it starts getting cold outside, this is the one I reach for. Now this one also is gonna be $16.99. He does keep it year round, but I feel probably the sales increase when the fall hit. And last but not least, we have my favorite. This is number one from Beard Octane in my opinion. This was the collaboration with Dan C. Bearded. This is Ginger Jamboree. On this one, we have hints of ginger, lemon, lime, and positivity. Positivity because that should be Dan's middle name. Positivity. Dan Positivity C. Bearded. Use that, Dan. I give you permission. As soon as you open it up, you're gonna think they poured a carbonated 7-Up can into this bottle. This is what I use every night before I go to bed. You just want to drink this. You really do. <laughs> Which I don't recommend. Get your bottle of this and be prepared to spend more money because you're gonna go through about 12 bottles before you know it. So that wraps up the beard oil. Now Joe also has beard butter. Now his beard butter has actually changed within the past year, I believe. It wasn't all whipped. Now it's more of a poured whipped butter, but the consistency is awesome. I use Citrafella when I'm not using the ginger jamboree. If I run out of that, I will back up with the Citrafella. This one is outstanding. So on this butter, the ingredients are fractionated coconut oil, shea butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, rosehip oil, arrowroot powder, vitamin E, hints of freshly squeezed tangerines, lemons, and grapefruit. And that's pretty much spot on what the scent is. As soon as you open this thing up, man, you get nothing but straight tangerines and lemons in my opinion. The grapefruit kind of sneaks in at the end. This consistency of this butter is great, feels great in beard. Definitely recommend you check out his butters. Citrafella is number two right behind Ginger Jamboree, so that's kind of where it falls within the list. I could use this stuff every day too if I had to. We also have from Beard Octane, we have their beard conditioners and we have their beard washes. Now these were in black bottles when I first tried them. Now they're in these clear red ones, which look excellent. So his wash is the LCW, which is the lather conditioning wash. This is a wash that isn't going to strip your beard too much. So if you do have to wash your beard every day due to sweating or this godforsaken COVID that's going around where everybody has to wash their beards all the time, this is one that's going to be very beneficial to your beard. And I'll also have this one in the Citrophila scent because I do enjoy that scent. I love anything that's citrusy. You're gonna find that out within these next few videos, I guarantee it. So the beer conditioner is neutral. It does not have a scent profile on it. I will say that it does have biotin within it. Now granted, I take my biotin as a pill form every day. So I'm not really concerned with the amount of biotin that I'm getting throughout my co-wash whenever I do use this, which is probably two to three times a week but it does have a really thick consistency. I do enjoy it, I do recommend it. And last but not least, we have Beard Octane partnered with Chicago Comb. I was using an Oxhorn comb every day and running the risk of dropping that thing and breaking it into pieces and really ruining my day. The Chicago Combs are carbon fiber. These bad boys, they ain't snapping. You can drop this thing all you want to. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna live through it. I like the wide angle on the teeth. Definitely gets into the underbeard, definitely separates and detangles in the shower, so I Highly recommend this comb regardless. And I also went ahead and got the number one comb for your everyday use. It's really good on the pocket size, really compact. So I know they have a plethora of combs on their websites. They don't know they're getting plugged in this video, but I love them so much that I had to get them in this video and get the word out. So definitely check out Chicago Combs. If you're in need of a comb or if you're wanting to upgrade your comb, this is the company to go with. And I think that wraps up episode one featuring Beard Octane. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to this. We'd love to have you join us. Hope you have a great week and we will see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe and stay bearded.